All right, so our next main topic today is going to be the release of the Star Wars Squadrons trailer. Um, before we get into actually the gameplay and everything that we saw in the trailer, I gotta say, one, I was excited that they're actually making Star Wars games because I feel like ever since EA made the deal with Lucasfilm, we only got Battlefront. Like, that was it. And it yeah. sucked. The first one was a terrible game. Like, I don't care what anybody says, it was not a good game. Like, it was, it was cool that it was Star Wars, but it sucked, right? Then Battlefront 2 comes out. More of the same. Like, that's all we got. Like, EA made this. That was a good game. Yeah, Battlefront 2 was good. But, like, they make this exclusive uh, deal with Lucasfilm, and we're only getting Battlefront. And then, like, the Battlefront 2 was just a better Battlefront. You know, like, yeah. which is good, I guess, but it's just more of the same. And then finally, years later, we get uh, Fallen Order. OK, and it's like, which is a great game. Like, yeah, I'm not complaining that we got Fallen Order by any <laughs> means at all. But I just think it was a really like bad idea on maybe not. Well, for one, it was probably a bad idea to give EA the exclusive right to anything, especially something as big as Star Wars. But like that being aside. EA has just kind of squandered having the rights, in my opinion, because I don't. It's been like ten years, I, I think, since this deal was signed. It's been something crazy like that, and like all we've gotten out of it was three games. Yeah, that's and stupid. two of them are in the same franchise, and like so, really, we've gotten two games, and I think like that is just terrible. If you take the mobile game out of it, like yeah, Galaxy of Heroes, I'm not talking. Mobile. No one cares about mobile. Games. I did play that game. Uh, but that aside, um, I just I'm glad that we're getting a game, a Star Wars game rather. But it comes with hesitations because, at least for me, Rick, like in Battlefront, right? The thing that like was always kind of weird feeling for me was the way that just like piloting worked. Oh, like, yeah. It was always yeah. fun and it's always cool to actually like pilot the uh the fighters right like it's a fun time yeah yeah um however short-lived and actually in, in the games themselves at least as they stand but my only kind of hesitation with the game is that i hope they make flying and everything a lot more fluid yeah. than it is in um like the physics of it yeah in the battle of our game because i always for whatever reason it never meshed right with me like i'm sitting there and for one like I don't know why I'm doing it like on a controller because I play it on on a computer. So yeah. I don't know why I'm doing that. But it just that which might be why it doesn't it doesn't feel good on PC. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Like maybe it feels better being able you know with a controller. I haven't really tried to really know. But uh, you had a chance to watch this trailer, Rick. So what what did you think of it? And are you excited for it? Um. Yeah, I watched the trailer and I watched like the gameplay and all that. And uh, I personally thought it was awesome. I mean. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I thought it was cool how they're kind of taking this and making it like specifically for like, you know, X-Wings and TIE Fighters and all the other ships and all that. Um, and I thought, too, like there's little things like you can customize your pilots. You can choose whether you're on like the Rebel Alliance or the Empire. And uh, I don't know. I mean, as long as the gameplay is good, like you were mentioning, and fluid, I, I think it'd be pretty good. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, I'm. I'm always excited for anything like Star Wars. I love Star Wars, so I mean it's fun. Um, I don't know. I just have my hesitations because obviously one, it's EA, but then two, like this is kind of nitpicky. But at the same time, like I was just complaining about how we've only gotten essentially two games out of EA, two Star Wars games, and this is essentially a gameplay feature that's in Battlefront. And they just made it its own game. Like, if you really want to nitpick it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you're just, you're doing the aerial combat stuff that you can do in Battlefront, but you're doing it exclusively in this game. So, it's nothing really super new and inventive by any means. Like, like Jedi Fallen Order was a lot better, oh. like, game and just... No, I'm not going to say it's better than this game, but it was a better concept. It was better in concept, and it was more exciting as a fan to play Jedi Fallen Order and be hyped for that as opposed to just be hyped for this, which, like I said, is just a, pretty much just a glorified version of the, the aerial combat, essentially, that you can already do in Battlefront. Yeah, yeah. Like, not that it won't be fun, 
because I'm sure it probably as long as the gameplay gameplay is like you know has good fluidity and everything looks good and it's just I'm sure it could be fun to play. I just I have my hesitation. I, I like yeah. it's not it's it's cool that it's here and I'm glad we're getting another Star Wars game. Be cool to try like a demo of it just to see what it's like. Yeah, and like I am curious, like I said, about how how it'll feel on PC because like I don't know it. It's never felt too good, like, doing this kind of stuff on, on PC, unfortunately. Like, I feel like you almost things. need a controller for that sort of thing. Yeah, it just makes it difficult trying to do, like, because when, you, when you're in, like, a spaceship, you have, like, full 360 aerial combat, so you have a whole other, like, level of an XY axis that you have to control up, yeah. as opposed to driving a car where you're just, you're moving left and right. You got to go up and down vertically in the, in the plane, so it, it just, it always feels kind of weird. It'd be really cool to have, a, dude, like, doing this in VR. That would be awesome. Like doing it in VR with like a like a pilot cockpit. Yeah. yeah. Like like on an Oculus or something. Yeah, I mean I I'd be on board with that. That'd be that super would be cool. Fun. You could like look around the cockpit yeah. and uh I mean even without being in like a fighter jet cockpit kind of like thing to use like that kind of control, just if they had VR support for it, which I'm not sure if they really do, um, that actually would could be something that would actually get me a lot more excited for it. I think, I that think would they should be- make that. <laughs> yeah, they they should they should definitely make that because that actually would seems like it'd be pretty fun. So, but yeah, question is, guys, what do you think? Were you excited for the Star Wars Squadrons trailer? Are you a little bit hesitant because it's EA and uh, because it's kind of just like a rehash of things that we already have? Uh, whatever it is, just let us know in the comment section below.